Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to be looking at this Xbox One game console with water damage. So let's go over to the desk and see what's going on. So today we have a Xbox One Fat Model console that is having issues turning on because it has obvious water damage now they just had this happen now this is the easiest way to get this done um i wanted to make a video just to show you guys the easiest way to fix water damage or if you just spilled water inside your game console any game console this is the easiest way to fix it i know some people on youtube talk about oh just tip it upside down that only works temporarily but where is the water going to go there's still water inside that game console so even if you tip it upside down and play it upside down what happens when you turn it back the other way it lands right back on that board and it can fry something out on your power rails so right under here we have your power mosfets we have everything dealing with the power rails right under here and what happens is when water gets in here nine times out of ten is going to go straight down to your power rails now this is the easiest way to be able to clean this stuff out you want to grab some can compress air and you want to blow all that water out now i'm you i'm going to be using an air compressor and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just fully just clean this thing out now i have it already open just look at a disassembly video it, it's pretty simple and easy go out go get the tools yourself now if the water has been there for quite a bit of time or if you spilled the water inside this game console while it was on and you heard a huge popping noise nine times out of ten that power mosfet is already gone but if you spill water in it while the game console was off and you're afraid to turn it on this is the easiest way to get it out of there without it doing now this console is not turned on at all they tried to turn it on immediately and it just didn't turn on because that water is more than likely um, flowing out those power lines so they can't communicate properly. Now, I'm hoping that they're not fully fried out. So let's see if we can do a super easy fix on this one today and get this one knocked out. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this one out and get right back to you guys. All right, so here is our motherboard. Um, I went on ahead, I cleaned everything up, I blew everything off. Now, if you guys do feel comfortable with taking it down to the motherboard, go ahead and do. If not most of the time you can get away with not having to take it all the way down to the motherboard as long as you can air compress everything out dry everything up but the thing is if all if some of that water is still underneath the heat block then it could still potentially get on your power rail over here now here are your mosfets here are your gates here are your fuses if that water touches any of that stuff it grounds out it it will destroy that mosfet and you will have to replace it now i did go on ahead and um put the multimeter on these mosfets all these mosfets are reading 100 percent fine so luckily i don't have to re replace any anything but i didn't test every single fuse and everything on this power rail so i'm gonna hook everything back up and see if i can actually get it to work because if cleaning it got it working then that's perfect and that's good for you guys and this would be a good video for you guys to watch and it's something that you guys should try at home so i'll get it back together and i'll go from there all right so we have everything hooked back up um i got the case and everything on got the power cord in the hdmi cord in previously what it was doing was when i pressed the power button it would turn on for a second and cut right back off now let's see how it does it now so i'm gonna press the power button mm, power cord is not in that kind of scared me i was like oh no nah. all that cleaning for no reason what's really going on so power cord is in power button is pressed and it's staying on surprisingly let's see if we get any video yes okay 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 so finally we got an easy repair i've been working on the most difficult repairs every day i haven't had a break and looks like today might be my lucky day but let's make 100 percent sure that it can actually make it to the menu it can read the games and everything else is good so this is the game that they actually had inside their console it's a copy of um ufc let me actually turn on my upper can so you guys can see copy of ufc i'm gonna pop it in there and just see how it works 
Okay, so we're at the, the home screen. It's moving around fine. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's actually reading the game and everything. So, yeah, we got a working console, and all we literally had to do was just open it up and just get that water off the board. Now, remember, if you spill the water in there while the game console is on, you hear like a spark or anything like that, more than likely that power MOSFET is already gone. What happened was they spilled some water inside the game console while it was off, then tried to turn it on, and the console just wasn't coming on. Then they immediately brought it straight up to us within an hour. So they did a great job by bringing it to us super quick so we could get them a easy, cheap repair done. And all I had to do was just go inside of there, make sure all that water was off that motherboard, and that was it. So if this video did help you guys out a lot, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I upload daily videos on how to repair these game consoles. And if you have any questions for me down in the comments below, if you're still experiencing some sort of issue, just let me know what you're going through and I'll try my best to try to get to you and try to help you out as much as possible. But besides that, you guys have a good day and I'm out.